even though they may not be the only ones that can feel them. Women have a tendency to express a wide range of emotions. This is not uncommon with the feminine. A good example of this multifaceted expression is a deity that in most recent times comes from Haiti. Today, I ask the question, who is Urzuli? To be exact, Urzuli is not necessarily a single deity, but rather a family of deities, or a loa, as it is called in Voodoo. This family of loa are associated with water, the feminine energy, and the female body. Urzuli is said to represent all the different aspects that could or would express themselves from a female. Some believe that each version of Urzuli is its own independent deity while there are those who believe that all the different goddesses are aspects of one that is known as Urzuli. Either way, Urzuli is commonly known to be a family of deities within either the Rada or Petra Loa. Urzuli Freda, or Lady Urzuli, is the flirtatious goddess of love. Urzuli Manusur, or Urzuli the Blessed, not only protects children, but is associated with maternal love. Urzuli Dantor, or Urzuli of the Wrongs, also protects women, but children as well, and will deal revenge against those who do wrong to them. Urzuli Toho aids the jealous and those who have been slighted by love. There is even an Urzuli Shango Pie, who is said to be an aspect of the deity named Shango. Depending on which Urzuli you are looking at, the iconography can vary somewhat from goddess to goddess. For example, Grane Erzuli, the Erzuli associated with the wisdom gained from experience and maturity, can often be depicted or connected to the inspiration behind the Black Madonna or even images of the Virgin Mary. Erzuli Jeruz from the Petro family of Loa is the Erzuli who takes revenge on unfaithful lovers and is depicted with red eyes. Even with all these various sister forms, there are some consistencies within her iconography. Because she is sometimes considered a version of the triple goddess, she can be seen with her three different husbands. Dambala, the sky god, Agwe, the sea god, and or Ogun, the god of fire and iron. And because of her status as having three husbands, she tends to wear three wedding rings. In some images, she can even be seen holding the priestess fan of the Orisha, Oshun, which relates to Urzuli's association with streams, rivers, lakes, and waterfalls. She is known for using these cool waters to heal the wounds that are related to problems of the womb. I often find it difficult to discover mythologies surrounding the Loa of Vodun. However, Mambo Urzuli Danto, Mambo, being a word for priestess, or maybe even mother, is said to have played an important role in the history of Haiti. Mambo Urzuli Danto is said to be deaf and mute. The reason she is deaf is said to go back into the history of Haiti and its revolution for freedom. This will be the tale for today. Among the ranks of the Loa, there are some who were at one point in time humans who lived upon the earth. One such loa is Mambo Marionette. This goes back to before the revolution, where slavery was still the practice of the day upon the land. In terms of this story, Marionette was a slave herself at the time. Her lover had been killed, and she was denied a place to fight alongside the men during the war. Marionette is believed to be the Mambo who initiated the revolution with a ritual ceremony. The tales go something to the effect of, not only was she possessed by the law Urzuli Danto, or as they would have said in Haiti, Ezili Danto, but she is also said to have sacrificed a black boar during the ceremony. A pact was written with the boar's blood, thus commencing the revolution. Sometimes in the battles, Urzuli Danto would join her people in fighting off the enemy during the war. Her people, however, 
feared that she would give away their secrets should she be captured. Therefore, her own people would cut out their tongues, rendering themselves mute. Now, Urzulidanto only utters the sound of her severed tongue, clicking against the roof of her mouth. Thirteen years later, the formerly enslaved people of Haiti won the revolution. The location of that initiatory ceremony is famous to this day. It is known as Bois Caimen, or the Alligator Woods. Whether you consider Urzuli to be a single goddess with many forms, or many goddesses with a single name, what cannot be denied is the popularity of this loa and the love and passion which she inspires. Even in contemporary times, she can be seen as an inspiration from anything from villains in the spectacular Spider-Man animated series to the Broadway show entitled Once on This Island. 